In this video, I am going to explain how to download Kia Portal version 19 and PLC SIM version 19 officially from Siemens website. And also I am going to explain how to install these softwares in your computer. First, uh, let's go to Siemens industry support webpage. I have given a link in the video description. By click on this uh, link, you can go to this uh, Siemens uh, industry support webpage. Okay, this is the webpage. Here you have to download uh, three files. First one is DVD1, TR Portal Step 7 a Professional Safety WinCC version 19 ISO file. Then you have to download DVD2, TR Portal Step 7 Professional Safety WinCC DVD2 version 19 ISO file. Thirdly, you have to download a PLC SIM software, PLC SIM version 19, DVD1, this is the file, 1.4 GB file, okay, then you have to save this uh, file onto a, a computer, okay, uh, these are the three files I have downloaded, then we are going to install this software, let's see how to install, before you are going to install uh, this software, you have to reduce the uh, virus guard security protection, Oh, you have to pause the virus guard. If you are using the ESET uh, virus guard, make sure you have disabled host instruction prevention system. Okay, then uh, mount this uh, DVD1 7.5 GB setup. Okay, then run the start uh, setup exe. It will take a few moments to initialize. Then select the language English and click next. Then again click next. Then again click next. In here select uh, semantic uh, WinCC professional also. Then click next. Put the tick mark in here to accept uh, license agreements. Then click next. In here keep the default number and click next. In uh, TR portal update server configuration in here select the continue with the current setting then click next. Put the tick mark on uh, security and uh, permission settings and click next. Okay, uh, then click install. It will take uh, several minutes to install depending on your uh, PC speed. If you have saved both the setup file in the same folder, you no need to give second DVD separately. It will automatically read the uh, setup in DVD2. Okay, now uh, installation has been completed. So uh, then uh, setup asks to restart the computer. Click here to restart. Okay, then I am going to install uh, PLC SIM version 19. Mount the PLC SIM version 19 ISO file. Then uh, click on start exe. Select the language and uh, click next. In here make sure you have selected all the components and click next. Then uh, put the tick mark here to upset the license agreement and click next. Okay, then click install. Okay, uh, installation has completed and uh, it will ask to restart the computer. Click uh, restart. Installation has uh, completed. 
This is how we are installing a DIA Portal version 19 and PLC SIM version 19 in your PC. Okay, then uh, let's uh, run the program and test. After installation, uh, you can see there are several icons on desktop. To open the TR Portal 19, click on uh, TR Portal version 19 icon. Okay, here I am going to uh, create a new project. Click on create new project. I am continuing with the default name and save location. Then you will direct it to this uh, kind of a window and uh, click on uh, configure device. Click add device to add the PLC controller to project. Here I am going to add the uh, S7 1215 PLC. Select the PLC and click add. Okay, this is the project window. Here I am going to write a simple uh, program to test our installation is uh, okay. Here I am going to use uh, input i0.0 and uh, I'm going to give output from Q0.0. Okay, uh, this is a single uh, network program I have written. Let's compile the program. Okay, uh, no errors. Okay, then uh, let's uh, simulate the program to open the PLC sim. Uh, click here. It will open a PLC SIM software. Then let's uh, load the program. And uh, click start module to uh, run the program. Then uh, click on this uh, display on off uh, to view the power flow on uh, networks. Here you can see how the program is working. Okay, this is how we are installing TR Portal version 19. Thank you. See you next time.